Okay, folks, today we're going to talk about something really, really interesting. Watch the whole video because I'll try to give as much juicy information as possible about one of the hottest topics of the last few weeks. Llama 3 Meta AI vs GPT-4. I'll compare them in detail after briefly introducing them and also show you the difference of the two AIs in terms of image generation, showing you images generated by Meta AI and GPT-4 with the same text prompt and more. So let's briefly start with the basics. First of all, Meta AI, which is Meta's AI chatbot and the rival of GPT-4, which we will discuss in the video, uses Llama 3 as its AI model. Llama 3 is available on all Meta social platforms, including WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, as well as in its standalone version on the web. You know, folks, Mark Zuckerberg explicitly challenges OpenAI's ChatGPT4 by declaring it to be the most intelligent free AI helper available. Now, I'm here to test it for you all, comparing the outputs from both platforms to see if Mark is right. I'll get to the comparisons in a moment, but before that, let's understand the basics of Llama 3. Firstly, Llama 3, or Meta AI, primarily accepts text-based inputs, but can generate diverse outputs including text, images, and animations. I guess this is allowed by tools like Make a Video, which lets you generate GIF-like videos and photorealistic images from simple text prompts. The model's sophisticated reasoning and coding capabilities exceeds those of Llama 2, its predecessor. I think Llama 3's versatility and power also come from its ability to examine and reply to both basic and intermediate code requests. Now, there are three sizes available for the Llama 3 model, 8B, 70B, and 400B. All right, folks, now I'll briefly tell you the latest details about the differences between these versions of Llama 3, and then we'll move on to GPT-4's basics before the juicy comparison. So Llama 3 is available in 8B, 70B sizes with a 400B model in development. The 8B model balances performance and efficiency, suitable for various applications. The 70B model offers superior performance for complex tasks, but requires more uh, computational resources. Both have been trained on a vast 15 trillion token dataset, enhancing their language, translation, code generation, and reasoning abilities. With that being said, next we have GPT-4. It is known for its versatility and ability in natural language processing, and it's expanded its capabilities to include Dolly 3, the excellent OpenAI's AI image generator. As many of you probably know, it is still considered the king of AIs. I guess due to its versatility and excellent text generation abilities, and generally a remarkable understanding of human language, with an efficiency perhaps still unmatched in terms of output. Of course, it's not always smooth sailing with GPT-4, as even Sam Altman pointed out, calling it the dumbest model. Anyway, I guess that despite some occasional dips, GPT-4 remains impressive. It also boosts multimodal abilities, handling images, text files, and online searches as needed, although it cannot generate animations like Meta AI. Getting back to the comparison, let's look at the most basic information, the technical aspects. Compared to ChatGPT-4's enormous 1.7 trillion parameters, Llama 3 uses a relatively small 70 billion parameters for operation. I guess the processing power and capacity of AI assistants to handle complicated tasks and data sets are affected by this size disparity. Interestingly, Llama 3 performs brilliantly despite having fewer parameters in a number of AI benchmarks. You know, folks, when handling tasks that need rapid processing, it competes with larger AI models like ChatGPT-4. Nonetheless, ChatGPT-4's broad parameter set allow it to perform exceptionally well in more intricate situations requiring sophisticated logic. So how do we declare if one is the winner? Let's look at its performance and scores. Llama 3 does well in benchmark tests at the undergraduate level. On the MMLU-5 shot exam, it scored 82%, only falling short of GPT-4's 86.4%. I think this indicates that Llama 3 is still competitive in simple linguistic tasks, even though ChatGPT-4 has superior raw processing power. 
Surprisingly, Llama 3 outperforms GPT-4 on more difficult tasks requiring advanced reasoning, scoring 39.5% against 35.7% on graduate-level benchmarks. When it comes to evaluations pertaining to coding, GPT-4 once again demonstrates its dominance, outperforming Llama 3 with a score of 85.9% on the human eval benchmark. This indicates that ChatGPT4 is the best option for coding and programming applications. You know, folks, ChatGPT4 is a strong multimodal AI platform with voice, text, and visual inputs. Multiple format document attachments are also supported. I guess that with this capacity, users can carry out tasks that call for multimedia inputs and participate in a variety of conversations. As of right now, Llama 3 can only handle text inputs. It is only capable of language-based interactions, even though it can create graphics from text commands. I think that in order to match the powers of platforms such as ChatGPT4, MetaAI intends to develop its multimodal functionalities. Anyway, Llama 3 is especially well-liked for customized AI jobs because it is open source. It enables programmers to alter and incorporate the model into special use cases such as effective chatbots and language translation systems. Because of its advanced linguistic features, ChatGPT4 is perfect for producing excellent content for screenplays, automated stories, and creative writing, and more. But you know, their application in real-world circumstances is likewise impacted by the disparity in accessibility. Because of its large training dataset, ChatGPT4 can be used for more complicated tasks requiring sophisticated language, including instructional programs. However, Llama 3 is free, which makes it a top choice for businesses, amateurs, and university researchers in need of dependable AI performance without having to pay for it. Now, let's see the results of this test on mathematical reasoning capabilities. Both platforms are asked to calculate towel drying time through mathematical reasoning. In this hands-on exercise, the models are asked to determine how long it will take for a variable quantity of towels to dry at a fixed pace under regular circumstances. Its purpose is to assess how well the models can use basic arithmetic and proportional reasoning in real-world situations. Interestingly, Llama 3 and GPT-4 both did well, accurately estimating the drying time for a greater quantity of towels. This suggests that both models are highly proficient in simple mathematical reasoning, which is necessary for a wide range of analytical applications. Okay, before we move on to the comparison with the images generated by Llama 3 and GPT-4, if you've enjoyed the video so far, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to support our work and not to miss the next AI news. Coming to the picture output quality that the two offer. For those who are unfamiliar with the technology, Meta AI Imagine provides an easy to understand method for creating AI images. It's a free program that can only produce four different images in response to a single request. It doesn't have any options for recording history or adjusting outputs. Because of its ease of use, I guess Meta AI is great for casual users to start learning about AI-driven text-to-visual capabilities. A more sophisticated experience is offered when ChatGPT4 is connected with OpenAI's Dolly 3. You know, folks, Dolly 3 performs exceptionally well when addressing complex and high-context prompts, but occasionally produces graphics that seem overly polished. So, let's put it to the test. Now, both platforms receive the same prompt to deliver an image. Let's see how the two perform. Here's the prompt, folks. Okay, this is the output image generated by GPT-4. Take a closer look at it. Everything as per the description, and it almost looks picture perfect. And this is the output generated by Llama 3. ChatGPT4's interpretation of the image closely follows the instruction, even though MetaAI analyzed the image significantly more quickly. All right, all right. The generation quality of GPT-4 seems better, but it has to be said that MetaAI's is also pretty good. Let's not forget that MetaAI is free as opposed to GPT-4. In short, folks, they are both two formidable AIs, each with its own advantages and shortcomings. 
Meta AI allows you to create images and animations. It generates very good textual output, despite being beaten by GPT in some areas, but it is still free. GPT-4, on the other hand, has a paid subscription, but offers superior performance in some areas, the ability to receive text, image, and document input, along with a voice engine, but cannot create animations and is not updated in real time like Meta AI. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this Llama 3 versus GPT-4 showdown. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. What do you think of the two AIs? Which one you choose and why? If you liked the video, leave a like and most importantly, subscribe to the channel to support it and not miss the next AI news. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.